Okay, just another quick uh, video for the Navara that um, is something that I thought would be well worth showing. It's very cool. I bought one of these um, ELM327 Bluetooth uh, ODB2 interfaces on TradeMe. This was about as less than thirty dollars New Zealand delivered, and um, with the with the aim of kind of just plugging it into the Navara and seeing how all the sensors were going. Main thing I was interested actually was um, a quick and easy boost case, just to just to basically keep and keep an eye on what the turbo and what the engine are doing while I'm driving. So on a New Zealand Navara, which is right-hand drive, the ODB2 plug is just underneath, just above the the clutch pedal here, and kind of feel it with my hand. If you're, if you're unsure, just look in there. Basically, just goes this way around, plugs in like that. So that's that's it. We're fully plugged in there. And then uh, turn on the ignition and start the car. There we go. All the warning lights apart from the handbrake and seat belt disappear as you would expect. Now, looking at my Android phone here, I've got the uh, the. Android Torque application running. I'll just um, see if I can go back out. We'll go back to the beginning. Uh, click on the Torque app. This is just the freeware version, but after seeing how well this runs, I um, might might very well um, pay for the full version. I've already paired it with the car. The the pin number was just one two three four, so it's pretty easy. You can see up there it says uh, connected to ECU. Okay, and what I have here is a boost gauge and a coolant temperature which I thought was quite cool. Now let's just see there we can see the boost coming up a bit. I'm just giving it a little bit of a rev and you can kind of see the boost coming up. I think there is a little bit of a delay in what it shows me to what the car is doing but um, overall uh, you know it's a lot of information that I didn't have which is which is pretty good. So that's in PSI if I just hold it at Two and a half thousand RPM for a while. See, it's pretty fairly low boost. That's about three thousand RPM. Go back down a bit. There we go. And you've got your uh, engine coolant temperature as well. It's um, at it says it's at 87 at the moment. It looks like. Um, I'm gonna move that around. Let's so uh, let's just. Um, Add another display, we'll add a graph. Um, now, on here, the, the ones with stars are things that the that the engine is sending us information for. So we can also see things like um, engine load, for instance. So let's make a large engine load graph. There we go. I'll give it a bit of a rev. There we go. You can kind of see what it's doing there. So yeah, very cool. Um, considering it was $30 all up, uh, might be well worth doing.